Hi, this is Mark Kaufman, Blackboard's Partner Software Engineer. So in our first video, we showed you how to set up uh, the code for this uh, testing tool, LTI 1.3 testing tool. It's here at BBDN Tool Provider Node. Uh, I do want to make one correction to, or adjustment to what I said in the first video, is that in the um, server config, config.json file, you're going to want to have, if you're using HTTPS or SSL um, for your uh, tool server, your local copy of this node code, you'll uh, want to have HTTPS listed here as well. You know, I mentioned setting up the, the key in the cert um, in the prior video. Okay, so now let's, uh, let's start the tool, and we're going to show you how to register the tool with the developer portal um, so that we can actually then also register it with Blackboard Learn. So we're going to hit NPM start, and I'm going to pause while it starts. Okay, you'll see a lot of warnings, maybe even some errors, but uh, things are good if you see it's listing on port 301 and you see these uh, URLs listed out. And so now we want to go to the, um, you want to log into your account on the developer portal, and then you're going to go and register a new application. So here we go, we hit the plus sign up here. And we give the app a name. I'm going to fill this out and then uh, I'm going to pause and fill this out and then we'll go back over it real quick. Okay, I've started filling this out. I give my app a name. Um, it doesn't have to match the name. Well, this is the name that's going to be in, on the developer portal. I'll give it a description. The domain here, it needs a fully qualified domain name for where your tool is running at. So here, here we see the tool. I have my tool running here. So I'm going to actually use this as the domain over here. All right, if it's running at a couple domains, you can do that. The login initiation URL, you can just come back here and use, it's called the login URL here. You just copy and paste that. <clears throat> now the tool redirect URL, it actually needs to be uh, a couple of comma separated values because not only do we have the redirect URL here, But you want to put a comma here, and then you want to uh, add a value. I'm not going to put a space in there just in case that causes an issue. You're going to want to add a value. Um, you're going to add the deep linking because you need to be able to, the developer portal needs to be able to redirect to this um, URL on this uh, tool server. So we're going to add that as one of our, so we can have a comma separated list here for our, notice he, he has URLs in, in plural, so we've got we've got the, the two URLs here that we can redirect to, and it's a comma separated list. So now I'm just going to hit register application and generate key. Now I've got all these values, I'm going to uh, copy these all down onto a, a notepad, I'm going to pause while I'm doing that. The, the two main ones that we're interested for, um, well, once we hit done, we're going to get an application ID. We'll need that. And then we'll also need uh, these other values. But I'm going to pause while I just copy and paste these all. Okay, I've copied that all down. So now I can come here and hit done. This is very important. You want to hit done when you're after you, but you got to copy everything down first. But it's not until you hit done that you actually get the application ID. And you want to copy that off too and save it. So that you have the app ID. Now when we go to our tool, which is running over here, we want to go ahead and we want to paste in the app ID. And we want to take our private key My phone is bugging me right now, but I'm just going to let it go. And we want to paste that in here. All right, so we've got our uh, application ID and our private key. And so now we can hit uh, the developer portal and, and so on and so forth. We've got the uh, token endpoint, the OAuth2 token endpoint. So now we hit save. 
and you notice here it, it's it's actually saved. So um, now we could go back to the home page here, and we see our our application ID is our client ID. You notice it's the same thing. And if I were to go back here, and where I made my notes, there it's the same. You'll notice it's the same ID. I'm going to pause here. I we may have actually done enough for this video. We've done the setup. And the next video, we'll actually go and use this tool in Blackboard Learn to do a deep link and then to do names and roles. Thank you for watching this uh, client or tool configuration uh, piece and setting it up in the developer portal. And we'll actually use it in the next video.